In this video, we will learn about the indefinite articles and their association with the masculine and feminine nouns. Les articles indéfinis. Hello and welcome back to your own French learning channel, Learn French with DV. We have already learned what is an article in our last lesson. So, for those who has missed my earlier video, an article is a type of determiner that is used with nouns to provide information about the nouns, definiteness and specificity. It is a word that modifies a noun in a particular way by stating whether the noun is specific, unspecific, or partial. There are three types of French articles, and they all agree in gender and number with the nouns. They modify as per the gender agreement rule. We have already learned the gender agreement rule in our earlier lessons. There are three types of articles. Definite, indefinite, partitive. In this video, we will learn the indefinite article in detail. The indefinite article indicates that the speaker is referring to either an unspecific noun or one or some of something. For example, I will read a book. Here, I am not talking about any specific book. Similarly, if I say there is a banana in the basket, I am not specifying a particular banana. In English, there are two indefinite articles, a and n, which are used before a noun. But in French, there are three forms of indefinite articles, depending on the gender and number of the noun. Let's see, what are they? Uh. Used with the masculine singular noun. For example, Un livre Un garçon Un chien The second form is une used with the feminine singular noun. For example, une voiture, une fille, une maison. The third form is des used with the plural nouns, no matter what the gender is. For example, Des garçons, des filles, des livres. Indefinite articles are used before nouns to indicate that you are talking about an unspecified or general item. They are crucial in French grammar for describing figs or people in a non-specific manner. Let's repeat one more time. Uh. Used with the masculine singular noun. Une. Used with the feminine singular noun. Des. Used with the plural nouns, no matter what the gender is. That's all for today. We hope. You have learned something new. So, see you in next video. Thank you for tuning in and watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more such training videos and share this video with your friends and family.